Pozzi himself out there on pole Pozzi. And I think they might let them go this time. So Jason Stania leads down the main straight. And oh, he's been ridden right up on the back of his cart by, uh, oh, there's about four carts out down there at the moment in a cloud of dust. So we'll get back to the leaders, folks. Anyway, Jason Stania right away out the front in cart number 17. Then comes, uh, I think it might be cart number 62, Joe Pasquale. Then we've got Owen Kelly. Then comes cart number 51. Well, Shane McDonald, I think, it might be actually out there in uh, fifth position now. Anyway, we'll get back to the leaders. Jason Stania as he comes past the pit area, cart number 17. Joe Pasquale still there in second position. And we'll just check the rest of them out as they come past here. Looks like um, Owen Kelly's there in third position. Michael Graham in cart number 51 in fourth position. Then comes Shane McDonald. And that rounds out the first five. So we'll watch Jason Stanier come through past the pit area once again. And I'd say young Jason would be well and truly favourite to um, take the junior international class out. So at the end of the main straight, Jason Stanier in cart number 17. Jason's running a Rotax engine with a um, Talbot cart. And he comes from the Go-Kart Club of Victoria, sponsored by Impact Kart Engines and Talbot Racing. Then comes Joe Pasquale. Joe's running a Bull cart with a Perilla engine. And Joe comes from the Northern Club and sponsored by Kohler Karts. So Jason Stanier with a big gap between him and Joe Pasquale. And it's a fairly lonely race for Jason Stanier out here in cart number 17. He's uh, got a whole lot of ground between him and Joe Pasquale. Cart number 50, Shane McDonald's got himself through into third position. Now Shane uh, is running a demon cart with a Rotax engine and Shane comes all the way from Ballarat and sponsored by Power Mac Products. Owen Kelly still there in fourth position in cart number 18 and uh, Owen's also running a Rotax engine. Jason Stanio as he comes past the pit area and the uh, grandstand and things are tightening up for second and third position out here we've got uh, Joe Pasquale back there in second position with Shane McDonald and Shane's made up quite a bit of ground back there in third position and I'd say he just might have to about poise to try and do something around about at the end of the straight about second position. It might take him an extra couple of laps just to make up the ground. But uh, just at this, at this particular point in time, he's not all that far away from uh, Joe Pasquale in second position. Owen Kelly still there in fourth position. All these kids out here under the age of 17. Cart number 61, Terry Kendall, is uh, just about to lose his exhaust by the sound of things as it went past the Lennox lot loop here. And uh, if he's not too careful, he could end up with a bl black flag and be uh, asked to pull into the exit. 
sounding very askew, actually. Young Terry's car. Meanwhile, Jason Stanier heads across the strike. And looks like Terry Kendall has been asked to come in. Oh, we've lost a cart down there. I'm not. Looks like Shane McDonald has gone wide down there trying to get past Joe Pasquale. And Shane has been redeemed back to fourth position. So uh, that's real bad luck for Shane. So that leaves Joe Pasquale out there in second place still. And uh, meanwhile, cart number 18, of course, Owen Kelly is going to try and do about something about second position as they end. get down to the end of the main straight. But Jason Stanier, a mile out in front and doing a magnificent job too. It's uh, a hell of a long way around this track for 20 laps, folks. It's like driving a four-wheel drive to Queensland and back, non-stop. It's uh, very, very tiring. And with nine laps to go, it might look very easy out there, but I can guarantee you it's really hard work. These guys come in and they're absolutely exhausted after 20 laps. Um, on club days, we only do around about six to eight laps, and it's not all that hard, but uh, when you're doing 20 laps around here, it's an absolute marathon. Okay, Joe Pasquale still there in second position. So Jason Stanier comes through the Lennox Loop. A fairly lonely race for young Jason. He's still got um, seven laps to go, but look at things as the board goes over. McDonald is a long way back in uh, fourth position now. And I tell you what, Joe Pasquale is being thrown the challenge out by um, young Owen Kelly in cart number 18. We'll see what Owen can do at the end of the main straight. He's about two and a half cart lengths back in third position. But um, he seems to be able to make up a fair amount of ground through the corners on young Joe. And right on his hammer there, through the um, Geelong Road corner. Young Owen Kelly running cart number 18. With five laps to go. Jason Stanier, past the spectator area in cart number 17. Used to be a member here at the um, Geelong Kart Club many years ago when he was running in the Rookies. And that would be going back approximately oh, five or six years, I suppose, now. And uh, he's well and truly come up through the ranks and doing a mighty job out there in the um, Junior Internationals. Four laps to go for young Jason. And you could probably just about put the farm on young Jason from that particular point. And it looks like Owen Kelly might have just got past. Has he or not? We'll get a fix on their numbers here in a moment as they come past. Owen Kelly into second position. So uh, that's a good drive from young Owen. Joe Pasquale slotted back into third position now, followed by Shane McDonald in cart number 50. Down the main straight, three laps to go. And 
it just makes you think at this particular point in time what Owen Kelly might have been able to do had he been able to get past Joe Pasquale a little bit sooner than he actually did. He's just bridging the gap between him and Jason Stanier. Jason would certainly have his foot hard to the floor. He certainly wouldn't be sandbagging at this stage, I wouldn't imagine. But um, he certainly well and truly got a stranglehold on the front spot anyway, cart number 17. Owen Kelly still there in second position, of course, with Joe Pasquale. And Shane McDonald has made up quite a lot of ground from uh, his little excursion there a few laps ago. Cart number 50 in fourth position. Last lap, folks, with Jason Stanier as he comes down the main straight. Cart number 17. We'll just watch young Jason come through past the Lennox Loop for the last time with Owen Kelly. Not all that far away. Owen's been able to make up quite a bit of ground over the last couple of laps. And unfortunately, time has run out for young Owen. So Jason Stanier takes the checkered flag. Owen Kelly. And, oh, gee, it was fairly tight for third position. I think Shane McDonald might have just got up and took out third position just ahead of Joe Pasquale, and that was Junior International.